Hi guys, welcome. This is part three of how to decorate the bunny rabbit, the EC3D bunny rabbit. This part, in this part, I'm gonna show you how to decorate it with fondant. Uh, the last video, we decorated the bunny rabbit with uh, buttercream and coconut, and this is a slightly more challenging way, but a very cute way to do it. So to get started, we need our chilled cake, a rolling pin, we need white fondant or any color that you want to make your bunny. Mine's going to be white. We need a little bit of pink fondant, uh, something to cut the fondant with, like an exacto knife or a pizza cutter. We need a quilting tool, and uh, this is optional, but I will use a brush and some non-toxic powder uh, chalk. Uh, we also will need a little, uh, some other um, fondant tools and some confectioner's glue. And that's it, let's get started. So I have about a pound and a half of white fondant here. Okay, so pretty much what I did is I covered the whole thing except the arms and the legs. So I will um, smooth it out a little bit more, make sure that it looks good all around. And then I'm gonna start working on the stitching with the stitching tool. I like that for now. I'm gonna make a little bit of an indentation here so I can add the eyes. Maybe with a bigger one. Okay, now I'm going, I'm going to roll out a little bit more white fondant and I'm gonna cover the arms and the legs. All right, here's the thing. When you work with a mold, you don't have, I mean, you have a preset shape 
which sometimes it makes it a lot easier. But if you're a perfectionist like me, it makes it pretty hard. So I'm having a really hard time with this cake. So I'm just going to kind of sculpt its arm because I really don't like the way it's looking. So. I have a little bit of confectioner's glue. I'm gonna attach. I'm going to attach the other arm because I don't like this one. Okay, a little bit better. Now the legs and the feet. Well, it's looking sort of like a bunny. Let's see, now a little bit of details on the feet. I'm gonna add some um, ears as well. So I need more white fondant for that. Okay, now it needs eyes, it needs a little nose, and I'm gonna decorate it with a little bow on the side. Okay, I have a little bit of pink fondant here. I added um, a little bit of Thai loose, and I will, um, I will, what will I do? I will, I will roll it out, and I will make some ribbon out of it. So we're gonna add a pretty little ribbon detail to our bunny rabbit. Now that we have the bow, a little bit more for the nose and for the middle of the bow.
I will need something darker for the eyes. I feel like pink would be overkill, so I'm going to use a little bit of black fondant. Have a little bit of the black fondant, and I will roll two eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of the pink and the light brown and I'm going to just accentuate some of the, the stitching. It's almost like a shadow. I can keep playing around with this for a long time, but this is pretty much the idea. I went a little bit too dark here. Okay, this is it. This is the bunny rabbit decorated with fondant. Um, we did this before with the, with the coconut and buttercream and uh, this one is a little bit more complex than that one. So if you thought this was a little bit too challenging and want to try something different, go back and check that video out. Um, so I personally like this one and I'd love to hear what you think. I want to see if you guys like the fondant version better or the coconut version better. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more fun videos like this one. Uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!